G'day everyone. I'm uh, gonna have a quick chat about camp chairs. Um, as most of you would know or have looked into, camp chairs can be as cheap or as expensive as you want. Big, small, fold out. There's so many choices, so many different variants. Um, I'm just gonna go through a few of the ones that we've got, been through, used now, uh, and the various reasons why we have them. So this is sort of the, the ones that we've had over the journey. Got a fold out wander that just uh, no bag or anything, pretty comfortable. This is like a moon chair. This is a new style 230 chair, which Chelsea got for her birthday. An old style, just director's chair. Uh, Austral director's chair. This is a uh, sort of a stool chair that we I tried out for space and weight, which is not too bad. Uh, then we've got a fishing chair. And then this is a new front runner director's chair. And we've also got this Red Roads fold out job. So all of these have come on trips with us. Um, and depending on how much room and how much space you've got as to what you can take and, and what you want. So if you're going away for one night and you don't have much space, then you know, a small chair is probably okay. But if you're going away for a week or so and you're gonna be in the same place and you can take, this, take a big chair, and some of your bigger chairs are quite comfortable and, and more uh, luxurious when you're on site. So we'll um, get to it, fold a few out, and uh, I'll tell you my favourites. Righto, so we'll start with just a nice easy one. We've had this, it's a Coleman chair. Uh, I've had it for a long time. We lost the bag for it, but just had a clip in the back to hold it together. Very easy to put, put out. Um, Space-wise, not too bad. Comfort-wise, you find the it's all right for a little while, but if you're going to sit in it for a period of time, I tend to find that they, they sort of cut in the back of your legs here a little bit. Um, and if, say, your wife or one of your kids want to sit on your lap for a while, um, it really will squash into the back of your legs. So uh, cost effective, they're not too expensive, usually anywhere from sort of your $20 to $60 mark, depending on what brand and, and where you get it from but not too bad for space and pretty easy, like a good all-round chair. Fold up. And obviously, if you had a bag, you'd have to put it in a bag as well, so. That's that one. This is like a lower budget version of the same chair. So, Austrail. No offense to Austrail. Same principle, it's a little bit lighter in the materials, everything's a little, little bit less, um, not quite as comfy uh, and not, not quite as easy on the, the eye I suppose, like I wouldn't want to sit in this for a period of time, let me, let me put it that way, but everyone's going to start somewhere as well. That'll do for that one. Keeping your bags is a must for everyone. It can be a little bit frustrating without them. But at this stage, I, would, I don't really go with the, that style chair much anymore. Um, this is the little, so I got this one, I was traveling through uh, Forbes and I pulled up at Blue Sky. I hadn't been there before. So I'll give it, give it a try. Um, it, was, I think it was about 30 bucks this one. Not much to it. It's pretty easy to put together. Very um, compact and convenient. The back, well, backrest not too bad. Um, again, quick, quick stops. Uh, lightweight. I really wouldn't want to be on it all night for a few nights in a row. Let me put it that way you'll get sore pretty quick. But if you're fishing or you've just pulled up for a quick bite to eat um, and you don't have much space, they're very light, very easy to put together. Um, I can't complain too much. That's it there, it's pretty solid. And extremely easy to, extremely easy to pack away.
that one's done. Uh, this one here, this was a, one I tried for a while, uh, just as to having the, the ute um, as a backup chair, basically. Um, but it's got the fishing rod holders down in here that you can fold up. It's easy, lightweight, folds up to pretty much nothing. Um, not overly comfortable. So if you lean back a fair way on it, um, but it does have the advantage of rod holders. So uh, if you're down on a pier or on a jetty somewhere, you could have your rods in there, or if you're sitting on a beach and you don't have to really stress about holding them or anything like that. So that's not too bad. Um, serves its purpose. I would carry it for an emergency, but it's not one that I carry now for, like sometimes I'll, if I'm doing something for work, I might use it, but I don't use it for camping very much anymore. But compact, folds away, there's not much to it. You can put it, put it away pretty much anywhere. This one here, at the moment, this is what I'm taking with me most places. It's the front runner director's chair. So it folds up pretty easily. Up like that, pull up, and out. And it's done. It's um, structurally pretty, pretty sound. Um, Comfort-wise, it's very comfortable. Like, well, this is the one I've been taking everywhere with me lately. So, got holders here for different things, but you know, it's not all about what's, what what you can hold onto it. It's just it's a nice, comfortable, relaxing chair. So, it's uh, I've sat in it all you know for most of the night, had no dramas, um, and the best part, you, know, you can put it away in in no time. Fold them down, down. And that's her. So, very impressed. Um, it, it's with my, with me in the car all the time now. This Red Roads. Um, I got this through A247. I was looking for small, compact, that uh, lightweight, easy. Easy is probably the wrong thing, but you know, small and compact, that's it. A, few, a little bit heavy, um, not bad if you're on a motorbike, maybe. Um, it comes with these rods that all just pop together. Looks confusing, but literally not, not a big deal. That. Everything's got a place to go. Like that. The bottom ones go here, in the ground. Then those in and there. It does come with a um, sand piece underneath as well that you put onto these feet so you don't bog into the sand. Um, I actually prefer it a little bit too bogged into the sand, but it's a, it's a quite comfy chair as well. So they do have two versions of it. One's got a higher back, but I didn't like it as much. We've got one here, but it's um, sort of felt like I was sitting forward a bit too much. So I'm just prefer this one. Um, you can see it takes you know 20 seconds to put together, but it's light. It can handle 120 kilos. And um, I found it pretty easy to use. It's usually in, in the camper trailer with us. Um, just for those, it's all about space and weight and, and time putting things together. If it takes too long, you don't, you don't want to do it. Um, but if it's, it takes too long and it's uncomfortable, you're never going to do it. So undoing it, same thing as just pull them all out, put them on it, like a bit of a spider, like that, all together, back in the bag, and away you go. Right there, all together back flat, 
So it's roughly the same, so about 20, 20, 30 seconds to put it together and put it away. But the main thing for this one, and it's winning, is just that, that's it, that's your whole chair. Like, if you're lower, like, don't have much space, this one, or your front runner, there you too, I reckon. Right, now we're getting some of the bigger chairs. Um, this is Chelsea's, and if I've got time and space, not time, but so much big deal, but if I've got the space to carry it, this is my chair. It's, um, well, I bought it for Chelsea, but I quite often use it myself, so. Comes with, comes with that bag, it's a, a good size bag. Folds out. So we've got this, the, um, the bungee cord all the way around. But again, like I said, this is, if I've got the space to, to pack it, this is the one. It's comfy, got a little bit of give in it. It sort of, it, it holds you here, but it doesn't hold, it doesn't put pressure underneath the, your legs. So, so it gives a bit with you. Um, it's, you've got your cup holder here if you want it. But again, not everything's about cup holders and gadgets. This is just a quality, comfy chair. So 23 zeros, I've found their gear to be pretty, pretty good. Yeah, um, dollars wise, they, they seem to be good value for money. Um, I like their gear, it seems to be good quality uh, and hasn't let me down yet. I've changed a few things over to 23 zero that, that I've had on other things and I've been pretty happy with them so far. So I do know that uh, Aussie Disposals have this 23.0 version and their own version of the same chair as well. So you'd be able to pick which one you want. But I do I do like this chair um, and it's easy to pack up and pretty, pretty easy on. Same thing, pack her up, job's done. And then back, back into the bag. that so if I've got space and time and somewhere to put it this one's this one's my yeah my favorite at the moment righto this one we bought Kylie kids bought this one for Kylie a while back she wanted a comfortable cam chair down the river and it is quite comfortable but it doesn't have much structure to it without the chair on it. So that's it for that. It's pretty nice. It's fairly comfortable. Sort of a bit, bit laid back for me, but um, Kylie quite likes it. Um, I just find it a little bit inconvenient with having the, the actual chair itself and the material two separate pieces. So, um, yeah, a little bit, a little bit too far back for me, but quite comfortable. Um, I haven't tried to carry it like that. I think it rubs through on the material and it's not good for it. So we usually can carry it in two pieces. Then these are, these are our, if we're going somewhere and we're stopped for, you know, three nights, four nights, or if we're coming down, to the river and we've got two cars or enough space. These are your big moon chairs. Yeah. Right. So strap wire open. And then they got like this little click point at the back. And that's it, they're out. Um, Comfortable, very comfortable. You can get them with a little bit more padding in the bottom, different different companies, different versions, um, and different materials. We found this one's not too, like the, the Albany Blurry style ones, makes you sweat a little bit much for us, so. But if you want to have a nice uh, sit back by the fire and sort of rug up, these are the ones. They're um, very comfortable. Uh, 
but they take up a lot of space. So if you're going to have, you know, if you've got a family of five and you're trying to cart five, five of these chairs around, it's not really doable, depending on how big a van or trailer you've got. So everything comes back to, to your choices and how much space you have and how much comfort you want when you get to, to camp. If you're happy to, to, to rough it, then there's, there's options for you. But if you want to have some luxury, there's options for you as well. So just go do your due diligence, go down, try them out at the shops, um, have a good look at them, sit in them, lift them, pack them up and fold, fold them up, set them up a couple of times. Just see how hard it's going to be for you when you're out there trying to do it. Like, say it starts raining and you're trying to pack things up in a hurry. You know, you know you need to be able to do it pretty quickly. So have a good look at things uh, and work out what, what's best for you. So what's best for you is not necessarily what's the best for someone else. Um, I like, again, the 230. I've got some space, but the chair that's with me all the time is a front runner director's chair. And you can get that through most good uh, four wheel drive or camping places or online through A24-7. Um, they've got a good stock of them and they have usually been pretty good getting them out on time. So if you're looking for any other chairs um, and you can't get it locally, have a look at A24-7 and use promo off-road tradies. The off-road tradies wouldn't be possible without our sponsors and supporters. You can find the off-road tradies on Instagram and Facebook.